Narcissistic people like to be in control. It gives them that sort of sense of certainty, but they seem to take it to the extreme. We can all kind of enjoy that sense of certainty within our lives, knowing the direction we're going in, the people we are around. And we can all sometimes crave that uncertainty. With a narcissistic individual, they want that control. They want reality to work in their favour. Yet they do it in some of the most manipulative and exploitative ways because they feel entitled to have everything their own way. So when they are losing control, they find it very difficult to handle. Not many people like the feeling when they have stepped out of their comfort zone and everything is, has become very uncomfortable. You're no longer in control of a situation. And it affects people in many different ways. With narcissistic individuals, they can't grasp why they're not in control of the situation. So when a narcissist loses control, one of the first thing they might do is rage out at you. Narcissists become rageful and extremely vengeful. They lash out verbally and physically. With it being verbal, they might insult you, they might scream at you, they might shout at you, they might shout over you. If they do become physical, they are looking to assert their dominance, to try and intimidate, to regain control of the situation. Now, when you have been provoked, when you've had every single button pushed, when you are emotionally drained, when you negatively react, reactive abuse towards somebody else, you still take responsibility. You still feel bad. When you say things you don't mean, you still feel bad. This is when you have lost control because somebody has caused that much frustration and resentment within you, it's led to that anger and that reaction. With a narcissistic individual, you can simply just go and arrange to see your friends and family and say, hey, on Wednesday, I'm going to go out with my friends. Is that OK? And they take offence to this. They rage at things that as somebody you care about, you don't, there's no wrong with what you're doing and there's no wrong with what the other person's doing. So if you're with someone that's going out with their friends or meeting up with their family, there's no wrong in that. You don't rage at stuff like that. You get angry when people lie to you, deceive you, cheat on you, fail to answer a question, wind you up, provoke you, chip away at you which is what narcissistic people will do. Yet then you feel like the narcissistic one because they cause that frustration and anger and resentment by being deceptive and secretive and not answering that simple question. And you raise your voice and then you feel bad for verbally attacking them. Manipulation. When a narcissistic individual feels like they're losing control, they will go all out to use many different manipulative tactics, such as guilt trips and pity plays, using fear and obligation in order to regain control over the situation. They're looking to play on your emotions, either by making you feel guilty for daring to go and see your friends, for daring to say no to them, to making you feel obligated into being there for them after all they've done for you. They've just brought this lovely meal in for you. Or with that verbal attack, with that physical attack, that fear that they put within you so that you don't step out of line. They will go all out to blame you because nothing is ever their fault. So it's always that look at what you made me do. Yet a narcissistic individual will push you to the point of reacting and you don't stand there and go, look at what you made me do. You think, what have I turned into? What have I done? When somebody you care about knows how to bring the worst out in you and does it as and when and suits them, that's not the kind of person you want to be around. 
You want to be around people who bring the best out in you as you try to bring the best out in there. To a narcissist, nothing is ever their fault. They will lie, they will deny, they will blame anybody and everybody but themselves. They will go all out to gaslight the reality. They will twist the narrative. They will twist the truth depending on the outcome that they want to the given situation. They will fall silent on you. They will stonewall you, which can initially cause that concern. We can all, someone can verbally attack us and we can take offence and fall silent and sort of try and piece what is going on. So when someone falls silent on us, we think they're coming from the place that we're coming from. So we can often think, oh, what have I done to offend them? What have I done to hurt you? How can I help you? Narcissistic people enjoy the attention they're getting from this. So they fall silent on you and then they get their needs met by you. They learn this behaviour because this behaviour works for them. Yet when you fall silent, you usually try to communicate. And if you go to a narcissist and say, well, when this happened, I felt like this. Oh, I think you're overreacting. Stop being so sensitive. Tell a narcissist they're overreacting and ooh, they're going to rage out at you. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, it's one rule for them and another rule for you. So when they've lost control of the situation, they might just fall silent on you because that means that they don't have to confront the situation at hand. They can just blame you for why they've fallen silent on you. They might go all out to scapegoat you or scapegoat someone else, choose somebody to take the fall for their behaviour, their wrongdoings, their mistakes, their flaws. Because to a narcissist, nothing is ever their fault. They can go all out into that victim mentality. When they lose control, again, nothing is ever their fault. They are the most hard done to, wronged person The you've ever met even if they created the situation they will grasp at straws to find and pull little bits of information in to make you look like you're the one that's wronged them a narcissistic individual can up and leave an entire family and move straight in with somebody new yet still find a way to blame their ex usually for not giving them enough attention because narcissists are craving that excessive attention. However, what they fail to let you know is no matter how much attention you provide for them, it's never enough for them. They're always going to be seeking more. Now, a narcissistic individual can drive you to the point where you end up in the relationship with them and then they play the victim of how you walked out on them. You cannot win. And the victim stories they tell are very similar to the stories of a genuine victim. Yet the victim themselves is often questioning what they did, what they could have done better. The victim, the real victim, is trying to learn from a very uncomfortable experience and also believes that they are at fault for a few things. So they're less believable than a narcissist who believes it's everybody else's fault and never their own. It's very wise to avoid those who make you feel responsible for everything that they do wrong. Another thing they will do when they lose control is withhold. Withhold attention, withhold affection, withhold support, financial support, emotional support. They will go all out to withhold. They can also go all out to provoke any form of reaction from you which helps them blame you, especially if they can gain that reaction in public so that they can go all out to accuse you of being bitter and jealous and obsessed with them to match their victim play so that they can get away with their behaviour. There's lots of different mind games that narcissistic individual people play when they feel like they're le losing control of you in order to regain control over you. Any that you notice, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe.
If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetUp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People If You Cannot Go No Contact and a Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you'd like to go and check those out, they'll be in the description also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.